Hi friends, it's Mrs. Quella. I'm here with you today to talk to you about some things that we've been learning that you don't even know you already know because you're so smart. We're going to talk about sizes. I have some buzzy bees and they're all different sizes. This buzzy bee is medium and this little guy is small, but hold on, there's more. I even have a big, large buzzy bee too. Check that one out. So we have large, small, and medium. These are different sizes. So we're gonna have some fun games that we're gonna play about sizes today. I'm gonna share with you. And we're gonna talk about patterns, and how we group different things, different objects. And you'll have games at home that you can play along. We're gonna share this out with moms and dads. Okay, so it's pattern, sizing, and grouping. First, patterns are things that we find everywhere in the home or outside anywhere, things that repeat. So if we lined up all the boys and girls in class, we could have a boy, then a girl, a boy and a girl, making a pattern that way. Patterns are something that repeats. They can be with colors, sizes, shapes, pictures, objects. And here are some videos that we have to share with you about patterns. I'm gonna show you just the one on Sesame Street with Grover. Okay, and the other two you guys can look at on home. Red, blue, green, red, blue, green. Oh, I see it. Julia, you are so good at finding patterns. Patterns? Oh, oh, I have an idea. Do you want to? Oh, let's see if we can see it. Uh-oh. Oh. Red, blue, green. Do you want to play a pattern game with your old pal Grover? Play, 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 play. play, play. Oh, good. Then let us play the What Comes oh, Next oh, Game. Oh, I like the echo. For this game, you will see a pattern and guess what comes next. Ready? Ready. Ready. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, what do we have here? A cute little oh, kitty pattern. Oh, oh, I already know the pattern. The next one is going to be a kitty cat. Oh, that's a funny looking kitty cat. It's a dog. Oh, yes, of course. That is a puppy dog. Uh, let us see. Cat, cat, dog. So the next one must be a dog. What? A cat. Grover was wrong. His is a cat, cat, dog, cat. What would come next is another cat. You can continue watching these videos at home, but we're going to save those for later. Here are some videos in Spanish about patterns, but I want to be able to practice with you guys. We're going to complete and extend some of these patterns. So we see this first line of shapes. They're all triangles. And we have a red triangle, blue triangle, red triangle, blue triangle, red triangle, blue triangle, red triangle, blue triangle. What comes next? Hmm, our, oops, red triangle. I can't get to it. So then you would click and drag it down. But oh, Miss Quilla can't get it to work. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know what I did, boys and girls. Let's see. Gotta get back into it. We'll figure this out together. You're going to do patterns just like that. Mrs. Quella has them in this activity for us to do. 
You can even do patterns with any of your toys that you have at home or anything you have anywhere around the house. Let's see if I present it again to you guys. Maybe, fingers crossed, it works this time. Let's see. Okay, well, now we're on to the second slide. Oh, Mrs. Quill, I can't drag them. Don't know what I did, I'm sorry, you guys. Oh, here we go, I got it to work now. We bring the red triangle down, see? And the next one is blue triangle, yellow circle, yellow circle. Blue triangle, yellow circle, yellow circle. Blue triangle, yellow circle, yellow circle. Next comes that blue triangle, then a yellow circle, and another little yellow circle. Yay, we did it. We completed the pattern. A pattern is something that repeats. Then I have two more slides of lots of different ones you can do to fill in. Let's just do the first one and I'll leave the rest for you. So purple circle, orange circle, purple circle, orange circle, purple, orange, purple, orange, purple square? No, Mrs. Quell and I, purple square, purple triangle? No, I need a purple. Whoa, a purple circle. And then an orange circle. Perfect. I will leave the one, two, three, four left for you guys to do. And there's a whole nother page of ones with hearts and stars and diamonds too. Our next one is sizes. Like I showed you the Buzzy Bee. There are a lot of different sizes of bees in the world. There are a lot of different sizes of everything in the world. And we can sort things by size that we'll talk about later. But objects are small, medium, and large when you compare, compare them to other things. Those were some videos in Spanish, but we're going to do a video about sorting by size in English with our fish. Let's look at this one. Welcome to Kids Academy. When so we look at nice objects, guys. we notice different things about them, like their color, their shape, and their size. We can group objects together that are the same, like objects that have the same color, or shape, or size. Today, we're going to talk about sorting objects by size. Let's take a look at some animals. Look at all of these all awesome elephants. Say. There's Eddie and Billy. I also see three other elephants, Jackie, Jade, and Jeffrey. I see big elephants and small elephants. One way we can sort or group these elephants is by size. Let's find all of the small elephants. Eddie is a big elephant. He does not belong in the group of the small elephants. Billy is also a big elephant. He does not belong in the group with the other small elephants either. What about Jackie? Is she a big or a small elephant? So Jackie, the yellow elephant, is small with the other pink and green elephant are both small. So you'd put those elephants in a group and then you have the mom and dad elephant, the bigger elephants, the blue and the purple elephant are in the bigger group. So I have another click and drag fun activity that we can put small things together right here. Oops, and medium in the middle and our large ones on the end. So I'm gonna start with the smiley faces, boys and girls. I want to see some smiles from you guys. We are gonna put all the big ones by the big things, the medium with the medium and the small with the small. So I have my medium smiley face in the middle right here. Is this a medium thing? No, that heart is too big, that's large. I'll put it by the large smiley face. 
and then the medium heart and the medium spot. The medium sun is perfect right where it is, but I need to move the small things out of the way and get that large sun over. And one more, get that heart, get that tiny little heart over by the small. So that was just this activity you guys can mix up and do on this document at home on your computer, or you can even do it with your own objects at home and sort different things by size. And that's one of the things we're talking about is grouping. So you can group stuff by size. Like the video said, you can group stuff by colors. You can sort them by many different ways. You can sort them. Um, one of the activities that I included for you to do at home is <laughs> finding objects at home to group them with different ways. So if you had a bunch of blocks at home, you could sort your Lego blocks by colors. You could sort them by size. You could <clears throat> sort them by, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> by length, how long they are. You just have to look at the other different things about them that you see called characteristics is a big word. So do that with a grown up or a big brother, a big sister at home. And please share some of your photos and your ideas of what you found with us at school. We want to see what you guys are doing at home. It's so much fun to see all of your photos. Another thing we have is extra fun activities. If you click on these links, the top one gives you a different activity you can do with patterns at home. There also is a button sort activity you can do at home to sort the buttons out by shape, color, size, and how many holes are inside of the buttons. And the last one is about comparing things that are bigger than you or smaller than you to try to find different things that way. You could even do that at home with your toys. See how many things you can find that are bigger than your hand or small like your pinky nail or I don't know, as long as your arm. There's lots of things you can do. Have fun with this at home, you guys. We'll see you soon, okay? Stay safe.